On this Rugged X adventure, we get to hunt with one of the greatest conservationists in all of Africa, Mr. Ahmed Hebel. There we go. A man who has dedicated untold amounts of resources to save Africa's wildlife through sustainable use conservationist practices. And get this, he's personally guiding yours truly, and he's more fun than a barrel full of drunken monkeys. So stay tuned for some great buff hunting and a whole bunch of fun. Brought to you by Swift. Bullets without equal. Today, Ahmed and I decided to go out on a little morning hunt, just the two of us, while Shelly and Monty and Angie took a day off to see the sights and enjoy the fabulous camp that Mkwawa Safaris has in this remote part of the Salu Game Reserve. Ahmed, so tell me about this area, this concession that you have. How long have you been in here now? Well, I've been here, officially I got it 2000 and, uh, 13 when they we did the reallocation mm -hmm. but I've been hunting here more than for the last 14 years 10 years in and out so since you began your program in here for conservation and your anti poaching that I'm sure you've seen a ton of changes eh yeah absolutely the animals are I mean we're seeing everything from cape buffalo to elephants to eland Impala, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, I think we, we've done uh, quite a good job. We've really opened so many roads and we tried to do the anti-poaching and I think you've heard about the area. So the anti-poaching things you're doing, I mean, you've got guys out here that are checking the perimeter, they're out in vehicles and trying to keep them at bay, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. We have people actually running here throughout the year three. 60 days a year. Really? Even yeah. in the rainy Even season? Even in the rainy season, yeah. So they're doing the anti-poaching in a boat at that time of year, then? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We, we, if we have to, definitely. Some, sometimes we use the boats to go to get from one place to another. Sounds we crazy that this whole thing gets underwater <laughs> when it floods, huh? No, oh, that's good. Well, it really is a great tale of conservation when you see gentlemen like yourself that have come into an area that's been hammered pretty hard through the years and you've devoted the time and the money to bring it back and see, and it must be super rewarding for you to see all that hard work and effort and finances that you put into it have a return where you know we get to see this kind of stuff out here. Yeah, thanks to people like yourself, Alan. And I think uh, people who does this as a sports and as a game, we really need to encourage them to keep on doing it more because this is the only way we can really look after the areas and conserve the, the animals and have the, the, the place be better than what used to be. Yeah, we like to use the term sustainable use conservation. You know, you have hunting that's involved in not only controlling and managing your numbers, but it's also bringing in revenue. And I mean, let's be honest, if you don't have some revenue coming in here, even though you've dedicated you know, your life to conservation, it helps pay the bills. It keeps Absolutely. all the guys employed. Absolutely. You've got a huge staff in the area that's, you know, making a living out of hunting and conservation. So I can tell you that those of us in Safari Club, we really appreciate guys like you out here on the leading edge in Africa doing all the tough work that has to be done to save all these animals. We really appreciate it.
not the same one. No. That's not the same buffalo. That's an older one. This track is fresh. Hot. Followed the tracks all the way to the river. They just have vanished. They're going into the thicket and we lost the tracks. We've been searching around, searching around, but now the heat of the day is on. And they're probably laid up somewhere. So we'll drive around, see if we can find some more fresh tracks. It's odd though that it went all the way to the river. And then instead of staying down there in the thickets, they've just hightailed it across the opening. They haven't smelled us. So. That's buffalo hunting. You know, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of walking, a lot of scouting to find that one special bull. And even when you're hunting with the boss, you can still run into some unexpected delays. Finally got to see that bull that we've been tracking all morning. Right there, there we go. Yeah, he's behind those trees. I can't touch the rain trees there. Out to the right, maybe. No, 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 I gotta go more for to, to the left, to the left, maybe. There, right there, there. Can I see him? Yeah, okay. Take him right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take him right there. Well done. We got, we got, we got, hey! Oh, no, no. Good shot, good shot, Tom. Did you see him leaves? He's hit hard in the shoulder. Yeah. Ah, but he's down. He's down, he's down. Did you see him go down? Yeah. Oh, he's behind that ant hill. He's right? behind that ant Woo! Well done. <laughs> this is not a Salu buffalo. <laughs> this just shows you the quality of buffalo at Mkwawa Safaris. I mean, this is insane. Well, I guess well done, Alan. Excellent. Good Thanks. Job. Yeah, that was good great. Shot. Good guy, good man. Shot. You're doing a good job. Good that shot. was awesome. Good shot. Excellent. It's a beautiful Yeah, bow. what a beautiful really, bow. Really beautiful. Look at the bow. 
And then how wide it is, yeah. huh? And it carries it all the way out here. And he's still got his hooks and everything, and yeah. he's all by himself. Well, well, excellent. Well done again. Thanks. At least we can have some beer tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will have a little Good kabooby job. now. <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh, now the work sir. starts. One of the best things about shooting a buffalo, especially early in the safari, is you get to have a kabooby. So it's kabooby time? Yep, kabooby. So, so these guys, are, they're all waiting for us. Yep, for They sure. expect us to come in. Absolutely. All right. For those of you who don't know what a kabooby is, it means that whatever time of the day it is, you get to start drinking beer, you get your truck decorated like it's a parade float, and I think when we get to camp, I'm just saying that there's probably gonna be a party going on, which is called in Swahili, kabooby. So there's gonna be some kaboobian, some dancing, some drinking. It's gonna be pretty fun. So for all of you out there under 18 years old, turn your television off right now. Because this, this might not be pretty. <laughs> Kabumi time! Kabumi time! Everybody's really happy because all that money is for buying beer. They're having their own kabooby later. And there'll be a lot better dancing with, than with us around, I'm thinking. I'm just saying.